Hello, I'm Andrew Lithium. Welcome back to... Ah, there we go. Uh, from the Depths campaign, we have a little fight over here against our new fancy cruiser and the, uh, the wooden Apaches. The David Potter is going to take these guys on. It's two scrappers. It should be a fairly easy fight. Let's do it. Okay, so you want to start really in close. And let's begin the battle. Teleport to. I oh, love it. Ski sea skimming missiles are going. Beautiful. Beautiful. The heli woodens are unleashing their ammo. I don't think I need to say anything, do I? I love it. I really love it. That was one of our fastest battles ever. We did, however, take a chunk out of our own ship. I'm not sure how we did that. It looks like the missiles exploded. It might be because they're trying to vertically launch and then the variable thrust is kicking in before that. Maybe we need to alter that. There we go. Hopefully they should be able to launch now. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Right, I'll save you again. Save Constructible as the HMS David Potter. There we go. Okay, out of build mode. Well, that was certainly a very quick battle. Now, there is an enemy force around here. Are you the Eric? Yes, you are. Eric, come over here. Once we see the enemy force, we can take him out because we can just get the uh, the David Potter to launch its helis over at them. For now, I guess we could poke some more of the uh, enemy forces. No, let's let's spawn in the Doodle Hog. And oh, I want to pull you. Sorry. Let's go to the Doodle Hog. Can we stop moving? I'm going to turn the Doodle Hog's AI to... When turned on. Yeah, okay. Right. Turn. Engine. Engine off. Bit more power. Engine off. Bit more power. Engine off. Off, 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 off. Right. There we go. Right. Okay. Can we spawn something now? I would like to spawn from here. Uh, a naval base Alcatraz class. Hold until everything is built. Spawn at distance 30. Do it. Come on, repair tentacles. Join in. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Good engineering ship. I really should try and find a place to put more repair tentacles. Let's put them maybe along the top of here. I mean, that would be a bad idea, actually. Let's do that right now. Um, mirror line. Grab a repair tentacle. And flip. And then blocks, lightweight, slope down. There we go. That should give it a bit more of a uh, repair functionality. Let's save that as well. Save constructibles the doodle hog. And the, the yeah. We've got a new Alcatraz's class that's going to be doing a lot of mining for us. I've got to say, I am very happy with how that went. Continue on to combat AI. And we're going to pull you out of play because you will crash into something. 
Oh god, you're going for it. You're going for it. Pull. Did I do it? No, I just spawned something else. Doodle hog, pull out of play. There we go. Oh, okay. Alcatraz, is your only thing in play? That is fine. Um, you know what? You're in, actually in the fine place, right? Alcatraz says, I want you to split. Storage cell. Although you're not the flagship anymore. Right, we need to name you. So, fleet name. Not the Alcatraz says, you will be the... Asudio? Acudio. Acudio, right, you are the Acudio. Now, you are actually on the front line, so we might end up having to upgrade your army at some stage to a new type of naval base. Um, if we bring out the Dan Goodall, we could have it come in close proximity to the David Potter and act in conjunction. Hmm. Now, I do want to come down here and build a, uh, a force down here, so I will have to get you to come down here. And I'll get the Dan Goodall to move up here and one, one single-handedly defend this. And for down here, I think what we'll do is we'll send in the David Potter. Pull all. Ten times speed. Seriously? You're giving me a 6.3 top speed. Why? We already know you can go a lot faster. I don't know how the game calculates this, because it, it definitely goes right. That's your top speed. And then it forgets your top speed. I'm not sure why that happens. But, yeah. Maybe it's because I made a, like, a change in build mode, maybe. And I have to re recalculate. That's entirely possible. You can go twice the speed, almost. Satellite. Then... Maybe... Maybe something after the satellite. Maybe... What comes after the satellite? Um, a submarine. We'll make a submarine after the satellite, I think. Right, is there any enemy here to defend this board section? There should be. Hello? What are you? Scuttle gun. Urchin. Oh, God, really? I was hoping for a decent fight, mate. I mean, go on then. We'll take you out. Begin the battle. Helicopters have exploded. Come on, repair. Combat repair tentacles. Go repair. Not that it really matters. We're murdering. And we have blown up our missiles again. I might just take the missiles out. It's obviously not working. We could do the short range thrusters rather than the variable. I think that might be the key. They're dead already, by the way. Not that, you know. Not that this was ever going to be in question. Oh, look at that. The sheer amount of. Now, that actual, like, spread of bullets at this close range, I think the bullets shouldn't spray as much. I think I might have to lengthen the barrels a little bit. Lengthen the barrels, and maybe just get rid of this missile system at the front. I'd like a missile system, in addition to these ones back here, but these ones just aren't cutting it. Are we lacking repair drones? Ah, I didn't put repair drones on the outside. Right, we need to put repair drones on the outside of this thing as well. I guess it's something I can do off camera in between episodes. Right, let's have a look. There we go. It's not ejecting upwards. That was the problem all along. Eject up. Eject up. See, I thought this would be propagated along with the missiles, but it wasn't. Eject up. Eject up. Eject up. Okay, I think the rest of you are good. Something just broke. Hmm. Okay. Actually, if I put a variable thruster back on, will that work? I guess now's the time to test. Where's a fuel tank? Fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank. There we go. Variable thruster. I'd like to ramp over the course of 1.5 seconds and make it 2. And 
fire. That was beautiful. I love it. That is exactly what I wanted. Well, I'm going to save this ship again. Save, constructible. That's the HMS David Potter. Well, we're figuring out these little kinks, right? It needs to repair drones. I'll do that off camera. I mean, it's easy enough to do. All I've got to do is strip out a section of hull, probably around here. Actually, are you just one thick? Yeah, you are one thick. That's not good enough. I'll have to find a place to put the repair drones. Because we need quite a few of them out. Okay. There's a lot of debris down here. I assume that's from my helicopters that exploded. Um, I'd like to pull all. Aha! Here we go. Let's go engage that enemy. So we'll need to pull up next to the coast. And we should be able to take him out. Right. So what we need to do is we need a better surveillance. Currently, our surveillance is certainly lacking. Oh, there's a 10 over here. Dan Goodall, can you take this out and then come back? Yeah, that's not allowed. Um, so yeah, we need to build a satellite that can go really, really high into space. Like, really, really high. And then, like, deploy a large uh, dish to be able to see everywhere. See everything. So let's go build that. So I would like to go to uh, the Elysian home base. Spawn. Teleport. I have forces in play a huge distance. Really? Where? You're out of play. Let's pull all again. Play. Teleport. Mm -hmm. And I would like to build a new thing. Where am I? Over, over here. Okay. I would like to go new object vehicle. Um... I guess I could just start it pointing upwards. I mean, it is a satellite after all. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, and then I'd like to stop building it. And I would like to go up here. Up. Grab vehicle. Select. On. And I would like you to be um, elevated 90 degrees. So is that pointing upwards now? Uh, that is not pointed upwards. I'll be completely honest. That's not really pointed upwards. Let's make it out of wood. I know it's going to be a wooden satellite. Right. Can we like... Yeah, here we go. It's got a hold asthma set as well. Aha! It is pointed upwards. Okay. Build. No, oh, it's still directing that as the forward direction. Okay. If we go back to here, and I tell you to... Elevate minus 90. You're pointing upwards. Aha! Right, now we got it. Okay, let's put a mirror line down. And what we're going to need is a little section, a little command cabin, effectively. Uh, a large engine. Now, it's going to have to be symmetrical, otherwise it will start tipping. And that would be very bad for us. So I'm actually going to have to build this entirely symmetrically. There we go. Let's put an engine down. So I wish I had like four times symmetry right now, but I don't. So instead, we're just going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Engine block. Engine, engine, number nine, on the New York Transit line. Okay, let's stop with the terrible, terrible wrapping. Um, I'd like a cylinder. Oh, God, it's so hard to see in this view. 
Might just have to build it. Yeah, let's exit build mode. Screw it. We'll have to build it sideways on and then tip it at the last moment. Build. Aha! Mirror line. Whoa. Okay. Uh, then we want up down connectors. Did I just. Oh, yeah, mirror lined. So I didn't need to do that. Um, then. Use those. Then I would like to get a carburetor. 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 Edda, A, A. I've made that joke way too many times. I need to stop. It's also a terrible, terrible joke. Um, one there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. If I go in here, I should be able to get a couple more on the top. Although quite why I'm going to need an engine this powerful, I do not know. But we have one. So... I mean, I could probably just get by with two engines, in fact, actually, now. Um, right, now I need to put in um, superchargers and engine and fuel tanks. So we'll do the engine and fuel tank first. We've got 12,000 power now. That should be absolutely plenty. I have completely overspecced this, but I don't really care. Because I'm just that kind of guy. Okay, now. We would like... Air. Ion thruster. Huge ion thruster. This is what's going to be powering our spacecraft. Uh, actually, I'd like you on. Color picker, zero. Huge ion thrusters. Now, if I overlap them slightly, do they still work? Scale by one. Scale by one. Yes, they still work. Okay. Um, it's not going to look the prettiest satellite in the world. If I was going to make a very pretty satellite, I'd think a bit more about it. Maybe in another series when I've done a lot with this game. But for now, it is just going to be a very functional satellite scale by one scale by one excellent so now we have nine ion engines on the back of our satellite we don't have a actual satellite um like um dish as of yet we'll add that in a bit but for now i'm just pleased that this is actually going to work now i might actually put um yeah i'll put an ion thruster here here and here. And you're still getting full force. Excellent. All right, this is beautiful. I think this is coming along nicely. Right. How to do the wood. It's like some sort of very retro um, satellite because it's made of wood. Which, you know, NASA don't normally use for satellites for pretty good reasons. Um, first and foremost being, it's not particularly good in space because um, it's not, you know, fully sealed and doesn't weather well with, like, extreme conditions. So it could cause some issues. Maybe we've just got some magic, like, really strong sealant. That must be it.
Now, I could seal up those little edges with little um, thin pieces, but I actually kind of like how it's uh, currently working. I like its sort of um, rustic, sort of jagged nature. So I think what we'll do is we'll just start putting wooden blocks in and building off them. Well, it looks like we're going to go into battle, but I think what we'll do is we'll have that next episode. I've been Errol. Assuming you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.